Exactly right. Stephen Williams lied for weeks about his ex-wife's disappearance, but he couldn't explain away the video of him leaving the crime scene. What was the gotcha moment that finally pressured Stephen Williams to confess to killing his ex-wife? There's a, a video of this person walking up the street. That's him? That is him. That is Stephen Williams. Hundreds of hours of scouring surveillance tape paid off. As soon as I saw that, I said, we got him. We knew. I knew it had to be him. Confronted with that video, Williams caved, and they got their partial confession. But it's only now that we're hearing exactly how Williams really killed Trisha Todd. As soon as she came to the door, he said he put her in a chokehold and, um, and made her pass out. He used zip ties, and he tied her up. Once, um, once he had her secured, uh, she woke up and she started screaming and he said at that point he just lost control. He wanted her to wake up and give up her email password and credit card numbers so he could make it seem like she'd gone to Haiti on a mission trip and then disappeared. But Trisha kept screaming so he knocked her out with a military baton. And he, he said he used a jump rope that he had brought with him for this purpose to strangle her and then he loaded her into the car in a trash bag. After weeks of lies and only after he secured a plea deal, Williams led detectives to the site where he'd had a chainsaw and a container full of acid waiting that night and where he buried Trisha's remains. And detectives tell me that this wasn't Stephen Williams' first plan. His first plan was to cut her up, put her in some coolers, take her out in a boat he was going to rent and dump her body overboard. But he decided that was too risky.